baseball has become so diverse. It's always been a universal game, but especially nowadays. On the opening roster, 24%, more than 24% of those opening day rosters were made up of Latinos. Now, Nate McLeod understood this a long time ago when he first did professional baseball in the early 2000s. He speaks fluent Spanish, and because of that, he's created a nice bond between himself and many of his Latino teammates. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the best Spanish that I ever hear in an American, an American guy. I mean, there's some guys that speak Spanish, but you can feel, you can, you can hear their accent, like, hola, como esta, you know, but he's just fluent, like, straight up Dominican. I'm very impressed of McLeod. I mean, it's amazing when you see an American guy, you know, speaking, like, perfect Spanish, and, uh, um, I think he's Dominican, <laughs> yeah. I think his real name is Manuel Peralta. <laughs> I think it's important for me, just for anybody really, because if you look at the how many Latin players are in the game today, there's a ton of them. I don't know what the exact percentage is, but there's a lot, and it's they're, they're great players, and it's great for baseball, and, and it's just been it's been a real. Um, I'm just really glad I started in high school doing Manuel Peralta, his real name, <laughs> Manuel Peralta. That's what he said. He, would say. He, he believes that you were born in the Dominican. <laughs> That's funny. And, and it's fun to get, be able to give him a hard time and stuff like that to, to mess around with these guys. But it, it's important. It's, it's just, I can remember my mom, we, we, had a, we had, in high school, we could choose between Spanish and German. And my grandma is from Germany. So my mom's like, yeah, you got to take German, you got to take German. Well, I ended up taking Spanish. And it's worked out great. She doesn't tell me I should have taken German anymore. <laughs>